Hey, this is Daryl Webster here with an observation in the Office 365 portal. Uh, for those of you who are using Office 365 groups, there's now a new icon that's appearing in the tenants that have first release turned on. It's now up in the um, global bar and we have a group notifications pane. So that expands out and if we have notifications, I expect them to appear there. I'm going to run through that and see what happens with you as something of a, a raw walkthrough. Um, but I'll just firstly have a look at where this um, groups icon appears when we're visiting various parts of the Office 365 services. So while we're in Office 365 and we click into any of these services, I'm on the portal page of course, and, and that's where we can see all the, the services and applications. Um, I can visit over to the um, Outlook application and from here it's actually disabled. Um, now that's because we are in Groups itself and um, essentially if you're in Outlook then uh, there's no need to click a, a notifications button because you'll see the notifications appear. You can also visit the groups themselves um, from the, the left hand panel so that's no problem. Um, but when we're within OneDrive, we do have that group's notification pane, and it seems that it's also in Delve. That's about as far as I've looked so far, um, but it may appear in other places too. So let's have a look at what happens when we post something. Hmm, discussion. Does this appear in the new groups panel? So we'll send that and see what happens. And apart from uh, me being, uh, there you go, the, the person who sent the message, I'll get that notification while I'm in Outlook. So where does that appear if we wander on over to OneDrive for Business? I would expect it to appear here in the Groups panel. Um, so either there's a little delay or maybe the service is still being set up. Uh, let's just close that off and, and refresh and see. Not so much. Let's see if it's appearing in Delve. Or let's see if it also might be due to requiring a refresh. We'll see if that happens. And we'll refresh Delve while we're waiting too. Go OneDrive, go! Okay, we haven't seen the notifications appear yet in the Groups panel. So perhaps this is a service that's been put in place, um, but it isn't quite activated yet. And we do see that sometimes with, with Office 365, that we'll see things appear in the menu and um, perhaps disappear as well. Um, but that's in trying to prepare for activating the service uh, to, to be released. So th that's often what we also see within the first release experience. So I'll just uh, try one more time just to see if, if this is, um, the notifications are triggered perhaps by using another user. So while I created that conversation, maybe I don't see the conversations or notifications if I send them. So I'm going to go over to another user, Jack Sparrow, and we'll see what happens when Jack drops in a message. Did this appear in the new groups panel? So Jack will, will, while he's in this experience, he should see that message appear and you'll see up in my session of Outlook that Jack's message will notify me using the Outlook notification, but we want to see if it appears in the notifications pane. So we'll open that up and no, we're not seeing any notifications yet. So this is just an early view of what might be coming get a lot of beeps and squawks in the background. I think that's because I'm logged into so many different sessions here and there. But that's what, what I expect. It's just being put in place and I would say wait to see more as it appears. Um, also with the first release experience some people will receive this functionality before others and um, we might see some people on the, the OneNote, uh, sorry the Office 365 network on Yammer um, start to discuss this feature and, and how it's appearing and working within there. So um, thank you for the uh, eagle eye people in the change alerts group at the Office 365 network on Yammer. Um, we'll uh, see what else is happening and keep an eye on um, changes in this area, but this looks exciting.
the other thing I'd like to say is this is what I'm hoping to see a collapsible panel for a Skype for Business um, in browser experience when we're instant messaging or, or wanting to make our contact list appear. So Microsoft, if you're watching this, um, please make that available rather than this um, setting availability in this way and having to visit our, our people menu to, um, to try and find uh, the people that we message. I'd really like to see a pane like this for Skype for Business. So thank you for watching and um, keep your eyes peeled.